Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Shadow Systems handgun. This is a company that I have not done much with. I just didn't think it was worth all the hype. A lot of people say these are the best shooting handguns and all that. I, I had no experience. And there are people who I know and trust who own these and they say, you can go out shooting with me. You can shoot it. You can check it out for yourself. I guarantee you will be pleasantly surprised at the performance of these. And I said, I just don't get it. It sort of looks like a Glock. It it has that mimic. It's a seemingly a Glock copy. And they said, no, you're wrong. And also, don't be the kind of guy that, that talks down about a company in which you have never even experienced. And I said, you know, I tell other people that. And here I am doing the same thing. You know, get a life. So I decided to check them out. I said, if I'm going with it, I'm going with their newest, latest, and greatest model. I want to get the full experience. And that's what I have here. It comes in this very cool nylon bag and a cardboard box. But what we have here is the Shadow Systems XR920P. Check that out. It's the size of a Glock 17. It has some things on here as I dug deep into it that really surprised me in the way they did some of the features like the optics, which here is the plate. I took off the plate. It's an aluminum plate. It would fit on there like that. I took it off because I want to show you that. And the way they did the back strap system is like something that I just have not seen before. And, and a lot of people and companies have done things with back straps. I like the way they did theirs. I want to explain that. But it's their newest and latest and greatest. And I checked with them to see if that was true. I said, is it? Is this the, the newest one and, and the most featured? They say, yes, that is it. And it was released a couple, uh, about, well, about a month and a half ago, actually. And so it's still fairly new. It's not a new release. This is out there. It ships with two 17 round mags. They are P mags. And in the case, we will see that it has an additional mag and the backstrap system. As well as some tools. There's a punch right there. A lock. And then some Loctite and some screws. But I want to talk about this. Because installed is a flared mag well and this back strap. This back strap with the current angle is similar to a SIG or an MP with the grip angle. And that was one of my beefs. I said, that looks like a Glock grip angle. You know, the kind that go way out there. And they said, no, that's not true at all. So if you look at these two other back straps, this one is called neutral, all right? This is neutral, this back strap. This one here is more replicating a 1911-like grip angle. So I may go with that. I did check it out and I decided to go back with the neutral. And this one here with the hump in the back, that's more of a Glock grip angle. And they do give you a punch there and everything else. And a removable mag well, which I'm not removing it. I did remove it to see how the whole system works. And I like the way that is. And the way it all comes together, super cool. So I put it back on. I've got the neutral back strap on there, all right? The grip texturing is super nice, not overly aggressive, not mildly aggressive, sort of a mix in between a extended magazine release. So you could just drop the, the mag without changing the grip angle. I like the serrations on the top strap and the forward and rear serrations, everything nice there. This has a fluted brass barrel. You can see with the slide cuts, the lightning cuts, all that. Now they also make it with a black barrel, but the bronze just kind of sticks out. Looks really cool on video, actually. That's not my motivation, but it's also a bonus. It is comped, which also is part of the newest, latest, greatest, but it has a very nice feel to it. I like that neutral grip angle, and the way it feels is really, really top shelf. And I'm starting to learn why so many people say these are great. I'm getting to the trigger. The sight system, one-third co-witness. You can see it's serrated black in the rear tritium front night sight. All right, and that is moved forward to make room for the comp. Shadow Systems has four separate comp comps that they work with. This is the newest one. This can be disassembled without 
tools. And they say, do not even try to do this before you shot the gun because it comes from the factory really tight. But it's, it's a fairly simple process. Basically, you're going to try to push down on the side. It'll just open up. I'm not going to do that now. I'm not even going to pretend like I have before, but I have watched other people do it on video and it looks super cool. Now, the trigger is at four and a half pounds. It's an aluminum trigger. It is a flat trigger. It's at four and a half pounds and it's got a nicer break. It feels better on the finger than a Glock with a reset right there. I would say the reset's probably the same distance as a Glock. I'm getting to the price too, but I want to talk about the optic system. Now, it says right there, shadowsystems.com patent. They're pat they're, they patent this optic system because it is multi-footprint and it doesn't have any studs in here but it's multi-footprint so you can go rmsc you can go rmr you can go loophole like there's just so many you have to check out the site to see that or you can go with your iron sights like whatever suits your your preference but i like i like the way it enhanced it has all the enhanced glock features with the takedown lever the slide stop all right you don't have to work hard to, to drop that slide the extensions there it is just so much of a user-friendly handgun i cannot wait to get this to the range and i have seen and heard other people that say that thing is going to shoot better than you can trust me and so i'm trusting them and so i went with this now the msrp on this is just over 1200 bucks so with this you have the comp right there forcing the gases upward and lightening the trigger or well lightening the muzzle rise i should say upon pulling the trigger and that fluted barrel is very nice and there's a look at the business end when you when you check this thing out you can see that they skimped on nothing all right here is the all steel recoil spring, single captured recoil spring. And then there's a look at the barrel once again. Very well machined, very, very finely detailed. Okay. I, I'm kind of embarrassed to a degree that it took me this long to get into this extended beaver tail right there and the more i the more i check this out the more i, I learn about the handgun itself but i'm super excited to have it i'm taking it to the range i'm going to put an optic on there that's why i kept that optic plate off i'm just wondering which one i should go with i'm, I'm leaning toward a hollow sun 407 or 507 that's the way i'm i'm probably probably going to go but i wanted to show you guys this and let you know that i am not fighting shadow systems anymore until i really check it out and see everything this thing can do and i am very much looking forward to that and hopefully you guys will be around to share the moment with me if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe